Hello, I'm Angel. This museum talk is about Sunwatch Indian Village in Dayton, Ohio. Sunwatch is a reconstructed Native American village that dates back 800 years. It's unique because the Fort Ancient agricultural community that lived there left after 15 to 20 years. Fort Ancient isn't the name of the tribe. It's a term used to refer to a Native American culture that flourished from circa 1000 to 1750 CE and predominantly inhabited land near the Ohio River Valley in modern day Southern Ohio, Northern Kentucky, Southern Indiana, and West Virginia. It is suspected that the Fort Ancient culture introduced maize agriculture to Ohio. The first thing we did when we arrived was watch a 12 minute video explaining how the village was rediscovered in the 20th century placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974 and became what it is today. We learned that the Fort Ancient people buried their family and friends inside the village stockade in front of their dwellings during the video. I was nervous about human remains because historically Euro-Americans have not been compassionate about handling Native American remains and there was nothing in the video to say what ultimately happened to the recovered remains. The excavation of the site started with amateur enthusiasts poking around. The land left private ownership and was heading to be the location of a water treatment facility until the man advocated for preserving the site. The site's professional excavation began in 19. 1971, led by the Dayton Museum of Natural History, before the 1990 Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act (NAGPRA), at Sunwatch, archaeologists disinterred 175 individuals. The remains were held and studied at the museum. As far as I know, the remains were never on public display. After the National Historic Landmark designation, the water treatment plant had to find another location. Once NAGPRA passed, the Dayton Museum of Natural History, which curated the skeletal remains for 20 years, worked with an American Indian group. I was unable to find the name of the group that the Dayton Museum of Natural History worked with. But together the group came up with a simple locked underground crypt near the visitor center. Therefore the skeletal remains are interred in what is viewed as their proper context but safe and as far as I know they are still available to study by qualified experts including scientists and Native American religious leaders. The study of the remains informs us that infant mortality and morbidity was high. Arthritis and dental disease were common in the people as young as 15, and the average life expectancy was about 40 years of age. After the video, we wandered through a small museum of artifacts. a cool interactive model of the village. The model gave a lot of the same information as the video, but the viewer can skip around. Then we went outside to the space that makes Sunwatch a fascinating place, the reconstructed village. The buildings, just like the originals, require ongoing maintenance. So depending when you visit, the structures could look entirely different. A roof with a hole, a wall under repair, it just depends. When I visited, three young wild turkeys were hanging out near the visitor center. They were a good reminder of why the villagers had built the stockade. It was a protective measure, not so much from people, but wildlife seeking to steal their food. I'm looking at you raccoons, but they weren't the only ones.
is very shallow. Just this tiny mound. Accessibility inside the visitor center is good. The exhibit space is all on one very flat level floor. It's small and there is seating outside the door. There is an observation deck to look out over the reconstructed village and it has seating too. The biggest obstacle to accessibility from my point of view is the village. The path is covered in rubber chunks. I think this type of surface would be challenging for people with balance difficulties to walk on. I don't see how a stroller or a wheelchair could navigate on this surface. Even if a person weren't able to go down to the reconstructed site, Sunwatch is still pretty cool to see from the observation deck. I rate Sunwatch at a 3 out of 5 stars. If you're in the Dayton area, it's worth a trip. Parking is free and admission rates are reasonable, but it is off the beaten path. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. I want to know what you think. And here are two other videos I think you will enjoy.